Hamilton and Fairfield, rivals on and off the field. Words that were reportedly exchanged during last Friday's game spilled over into yesterday's practice here in Fairfield. We need a uh, uh, police officer at Fairfield High School Stadium. There, What's there, going on there? There's, there's, there's a report of a, an adult with a gun. He's yelling at people out in our parking lot. This 911 caller later admits he doesn't know if the guy has a weapon. I mean, I don't know if he has a gun. Our coaches are out there. Okay. I was just told to call. He's, Who told you he has a gun? Uh, one of our athletes supposedly okay. saw it in his car. That comment prompted officers to rush to the field. The Fairfield School District also sent a robocall to parents. I was just concerned, like, you know, for the kid's safety. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, someone's got a firearm, do they, don't they? You know, if someone's threatening people, like, I just wanted to make sure the kids were safe. Turns out there was no gun. Fairfield police say 22-year-old Joseph Mattia did trespass on Fairfield property, prompting the scare. Police say witnesses told them Mattia threatened students in the parking lot of the football field. Mattia's family told me off camera today the story got blown out of proportion. They say Mattia's younger brother plays on Hamilton's team, and Fairfield players made threats to him and his little sister during last week's game. The family says threats continued throughout the week, and Mattia went to the football field yesterday to stand up for his siblings. And the Fairfield School District declined to comment on the story today. Mattia was charged with trespassing, menacing, and disorderly conduct, all fourth degree misdemeanors. And if anyone is wondering, Fairfield did, did win last week's game. Reporting live tonight in Fairfield, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.